It is a good one. We are experts in a particular field, you know, has come together, have come together to look at issues about flooding. That's a team how to mitigate the flooding in Nigeria. It's a particular reference to the FCT. And the, the, the conference continues to it. I'm sure that at the end of this conference, a public is going to be issued. It is another way of public advocacy to tell Nigerians to take responsibility with regard to our environment. This Nigerian institution of uh, water engineers. Water globally is said by the United Nations to be life. Water is life. But how do we use this water, or how do we allow this water to affect our environment in the area of flooding? Flood is a natural phenomenon. It has come to stay with us. Developed countries, developing countries, floods affect them. So the essence of this workshop is to uh, let us know what could be the causes of flooding in our environment, what could be the measures that will be adopted to avert the negative consequences of flooding. Like I said, flooding is a natural thing. It occurs from whether you like it or not. When it occurs, it is a potential uh, hazard. How you manage it, how you manage your environment to make that flood to translate to disaster or not. What we're talking here, because most of the time, disaster accompanies flooding in Nigeria. Lives are being lost, property lost, social life is you know, dislocated, and so on and so forth. So, if we hear the outcome of this uh, conference, we will be a long way to help us in our environment. The environment will fight back if we fail to do the necessary things. People throwing dust, waste to the environment, indiscriminately. People building houses within the flood flares. Energies are blocked even then and there. And uh, some powerful people, you can't touch them. But when the disaster comes, it affects them, it affects the common man around. So let every person take responsibility. Let government agencies do their work well. And we as individuals at our own level, we should be able to do what we need to do to avert soon our environment or pushing our environment to rise up against us. Regina Clement, Captain General, Nigeria, Habibo Service Agency. Welcome to the presentation. So far, so rather than the water move, find its way straight to the and for what you need. So that I can send it. Okay.
Talking on it, pushing it across the relevant bodies to make sure that the right thing is done. Okay, Mr. Chairman, I know actually Abuja chapter is a subsector of the national. We have the national party. You notice just as I was coming out, somebody our past chairman, you know, no, chairman before the new pastor he said we have done so. We have never had a black chapter do this majority of conference in the AG. We are trying to improve on what we are doing on the ground. And we are doing a lot. This is not where we are going to stop. I'm challenging my vice chairman, who is coming in as the next chairman, to go because he worked with me, to go above this level so that our voices can be heard. We also have water clubs in the primary and secondary level where we are catching them. We did a lot of programs during the water war, the World Ocean War, to publicize our activities and also get everybody involved. So we will still do more. Finally. And behind the scene, I will still be working with the Vice President. Finally. Yes. We are going to the occasion. And God has helped us that most of us that left this world here today and attended this program belong to one ministry or the other, or to our surplus and entities within the society. So we are going to take the message to and high ranking officers for that. So it's going to be, we are going to follow up to make sure that deliverables are achieved and there will be a change in the society. We cannot do it anymore, but we'll keep pushing that to make sure the change comes. Thank you.